Hello, love, she said. I have it. When we are in love, the whole world seems different. Colors seem brighter. The air seems sweeter. The moon and the stars themselves seem to be shining just for you. And so for her, though it was the dark of night, she could see his form perfectly outlined. The key is safe? he asked. She replied in the affirmative. She could feel the warmth of his hands as he began to work at the knots near her ankles. Are you hurt? he asked her. My shoulder, she replied. If I have to, I'll carry you, he said. Don't be silly, she said. My legs are fine. Still, he helped her to the ground. She enjoyed the feeling of the dark earth sinking beneath her toes. It reminded her of her last thoughts of cake, this soft mud. Together, they walked into the trees. Some minutes later, three creatures landed. For them, the descent was unremarkable. They experienced no last thoughts, no fleeting fears or musings of desert. It was for them an unremarkable thing, this three-dimensional movement. They folded their wings and considered their surroundings. She didn't die, said one. Of course not, said the second, scolding. That was a ruse. See the ropes he set for her. Perhaps they lost the key, suggested the first, ever eager to impress. But these three were not in love, and no friend of the moon who hid behind clouds. The forest for them was dark and offered no clues. Until the third, the wisest and most reserved, noticed the uneven ground beneath his toes. Footprints. This way, he said, and the creatures followed the path.